Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. It's time for another payday prep. So I went to the commissary to see if they had any deals and they did have some deals and I ran across some store brand items that I wasn't aware that the commissary on base had store brand items and I've purchased some of these items in the past but I wasn't sure, I wasn't aware that it was an actual store brand items. So I'm going to go ahead and run down what I got. And I know some of you are going to cringe when you see some of the things that I got. But uh, it was a really good deal. And they are things that are good to have. So I figure I'd pick them up while they were nice and cheap. Now everything that you see here, I use. Okay, so I didn't get anything here just because it was cheap. And I thought I might be able to use everything that is here I use. So we'll start off with the... Uh, Chef Boyardee, <laughs> and I know that's probably the one that you're going to cringe at, is Chef Boyardee, the spaghetti and raviolis in a can. So those were a great price, 75 cents a piece. And we have some of those here because my daughter likes them, and we maybe limit her to maybe one, sometimes two cans a week, because I don't think you ought to be eating this all the time. She would probably eat it every day if we let her. But I remember growing up, I used to have these, and uh, they, I liked them. And believe it or not, about a week ago, my wife was asking me, what do you guys want for dinner tonight? And my daughter was heating one of these up. It was probably around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. And I was like, you know what, let me just heat up one of those cans of, uh, uh, it wasn't uh, the spaghetti and meatballs, it was the raviolis. And... I actually liked it so I went ahead and picked up 10 cans at 75 cents each so that's a pretty good deal and we do have probably about 15 cans right now in the pantry that I picked up probably a couple of months ago well I probably picked up more than 15 cans but we're down to about 15 cans in the pantry so that was our first uh, prep and that Chef Boyardee believe it or not it is I think a pretty good price for the amount of calories is high in calories it's about they average about 500 plus calories per can and it's pretty high in fat and in carbohydrates okay and it's got a pretty decent amount of protein as well okay so it's the, it's pretty good bang for your buck okay now on there it says no artificial no artificial preservatives no artificial colors i don't know about that maybe it's true maybe it's not but Matter of fact is, is that these things you can actually eat without heating up. So for some of the, some of you guys that have commented in the past, uh, talking about, well, how do we cook food if we're in an apartment and we don't want our neighbors to smell it? This is one of those things that you can eat without heating up because it's already cooked inside the can. Okay. Another thing that I got was these olives. We use a lot of olives here. Because I like to cook with olives and my wife actually likes olives. Sometimes she just eats them straight out of the jar. So these here were a dollar per. So I figured I'd pick up four of those. And uh, these are usually the olives that we use here. So we already know that we like them. And uh, that was a pretty good deal for a dollar a piece. I picked up some of these spices. This here is my, it's called adobo. And it's a Spanish seasoning. And I use this on all of my Spanish meals. And sometimes I'll even sprinkle some of these on a burger or so. Like if I'm going to cook a burger on a grill or a steak on a grill, this is an excellent spice. Okay. Uh, I got some coffee. Oh, and these spices here, uh, they were $1.49 a piece. So that's not a bad deal. I like to look for the big bottles, but they haven't had the big bottles in a long time. Let me show you one of my big bottles that I like, that I normally like to get. Let me get in my cupboard here. Those are the big bottles. So you can see the difference. But they haven't had these big bottles in a long time. So I picked up a couple of those. And as you can see, this bottle here, well, you can't see it. But this bottle here is almost towards the end. So pretty much I'm going to end up replacing some of the ones that I already have in my cupboard. Or rotating them with these. Okay. And here is my number one and my number two coffee. My number one is this one. This is my favorite coffee. It's, it's an espresso. 
and it goes great in the French press, okay? And this is my number two. I bought one of each because I know I'm going to use this one right away. But this one right here is sealed in one of these Mylar pouches. And I can put this in the pantry and maybe rotate it out in about six months or so. So usually I'll go through one of these when I run out. Uh, I'll just keep the one that I'm using. And then when I run out of this one, I'll go ahead and rotate one of the old one of these and just put it in this can. And then I'll go buy another one of these. And then uh, once I run out of this can, I'll go ahead and buy another one of the Cafe Bustelo. Because that's my favorite coffee right there. It's very, very rich and it's just got a really great taste. If you guys haven't tried this coffee, try it out. Look look for it in your supermarket. They, they usually have it. I know they have it in K-Cups. Um, but I'm not sure if every supermarket would carry it in this variety right here in, in the can. But I do know that they have them in K-Cups. All right, but this one is good also. It's, I don't think it's as good as this one, but this one is a very good second. Okay? So, and this coffee here was, they've gotten more expensive. When I first got here, I could pick these up for $2.50. Now they're about $3.49, so $3.50. Same thing with these. These were uh, just over $2, and now they're like $3 even, $2.99, so $3.00. Okay, and I picked these up. I've never tried these before. But like my wife said, how can you ruin mustard? There's not much to mustard. Okay, so I tried these. I uh, haven't tried it yet. I just tried tried it as far as purchasing it. But this was a great deal for a 20-ounce jar of mustard. It was like 67 cents. Okay, and the ingredients is vinegar, mustard, salt, turmeric, some spices, and that's it. And this is actually made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So, uh, Keith S. This is made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Same thing with this ketchup. Never tried it. But this ketchup was only $1.69, I believe. And the ingredients are very basic. It's got tomato concentrate. It's got sugar and not corn syrup. It's got distilled vinegar, salt, onion powder, spices, and natural flavors. So the ingredients seem to be pretty decent. We'll have to see how it tastes. But for the price, I figure I'd try it and see if I liked it or if my family liked it as well. And then we can stock up on these instead of paying the hefty price on the other ones. Same thing with the peanut butter. This size peanut butter I see at the stores for about $5 and up. Between $5 and $6 is what we see them at the store for. This here was $3, all right? And that's a really good price, $3. And let's see, it's got, it does, the ingredients seem decent. It's got uh, roasted peanuts, sugar. It doesn't have corn syrup, which is really good. I really like that. It's got, this is not good, hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's not good. And it's got salt and molasses, okay? But for the price, it's not too bad, okay? Not too bad at all. So, uh, like I said, normally for the same size of this, we're paying $5, maybe more than $5. And this was only $3. So, everything that you see here came out to, I believe it was about $25 or so. And I think it's a pretty good haul. Now, the carnation uh, evaporated milk and the condensed milk, all of those were free, Okay. We have a friend that gave us all of those. Why? Because they're expired. Okay. So in addition to the ones that you see here, we we got an additional evaporated milk and an additional condensed milk. I used both of those and they were both good. They're expired a year. All right. These expired in 17. So they've been expired a year. I used both of them, opened both of them, did the smell test, did the taste test. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I actually made some ice cream with the condensed milk and evaporated milk. And then I added a little bit of extra regular milk to it. So I actually made some ice cream with it and it came out really, really well. So ladies and gentlemen, you take one of these, mix it with this, mix it really good. You put about a tablespoon or as much as you want to flavor it of vanilla extract in there. You put about one additional can of these of just regular milk. 
you stir it really good until this condensed milk is dissolved. Put it in the freezer in whatever container you want. And when it freezes, it doesn't freeze hard like ice. It freezes nice and soft and it is really good. The only thing that I wish I would have added to this would be a little bit of coconut milk. Instead of putting an actual can of this of milk, regular milk, put a, an additional can of coconut milk and I think it would have made it really good. But that's it for my payday prep this week, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, just prep on, okay? Keep prepping. Whatever it is that you guys use, if it lasts, go ahead and do it. Get more of it. Every time that you go to the store, get a few extra cans. Look at that, that 10 cans of Chef YRD. That was $7.50. So you're looking at $7.50 if you had to survive on Chef Boyardee. For $7.50, you could survive for three days. 1,500, a little over 1,500 calories a day for three days for $7.50. Okay, so same thing with the, with the coffee. As you've noticed, I'm not really stocking up a lot of coffee. Uh, I've been trying to see how long this one would last. I've got one of these that I put away that's about six months old. I'm going to probably let it sit there for another six months until it's a year old and see what it's like. And if it's good for a full year after I've gotten it, then I'll probably stock up a year's worth, which would probably be about 10 of these guys. I'll probably stock up a year's worth. That way, every time I use one or two, I can go to the store and replace it and rotate it so I can have at least a one-year supply. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. I hope that you guys have had a good week. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.